Ladies and gentlemen, dames en heren, meine Damen und Herren, mesdames und messieurs, always remember both sides of the line. The Peace Monument honors all the dead and wounded of the First World War, military or civilian. At the base, a field of steel poppies. 2016 of them mark the year of the structure's inauguration here at Langemark. A single white flower commemorates traumatized soldiers executed for cowardice. The monument's designer, Terence Clark, says the white poppy is what most people ask him about. The white poppy has actually touched a lot of hearts as well when they see it, telling what it's about. Because they always say, oh, why is a white poppy? And you tell them and you can see little tears in their eyes, it's wonderful. One large poppy dominates the peace monument. The seven meter plate of rust colored steel depicts a trench tunnel prop. It stands next to another stark reminder of the First World War. Langemark Cemetery is where more than 44,000 German soldiers are buried. And there's a lot of people behind the scenes that has actually made this work. Without them, it would never, never have happened. Work over seven years has involved blacksmiths from around the world. The international team included British Army craftsmen based in Germany. Tim Mackerath was among several former soldiers who took part. He helped create one of the panels surrounding the monument that reflect aspects of conflict. I was in a team forging a design by the German blacksmith Akim Kuhn, and in that team we had no common language. So we were working to a drawing, um, looking up the occasional things on um, you know, Google Translate, but it was a fantastic atmosphere. The inauguration of the peace monument is a simple but touching occasion. Nations like Britain that fought in the First World War have sent emissaries here. There's even a representative from China which went to war in the Far East in 1917. Now Flanders Field has a new landmark forged from steel. It's intended to be a permanent tribute to everyone lost and injured in conflict. Rob Olver, Forces News, Langemark in Belgium.